strange. It's real foggy now. Well, if you guys are interested in what's going on in Oklahoma, we got some crazy weather going on. The whole hillside looks like there's snow. It's nothing but hell. Golf ball size hell everywhere. I drew, I drove right through the middle of it too. I was coming back from the property. I was like, oh my, I got hit hard. Look at this. Look at the fog. I've never seen fog like this after a hell storm. That's running water down the middle of the road right there. Look at all this. They're getting golf ball size. They're starting to melt now, but I mean, this is crazy. All through here. Look at all this hell. I mean, that is huge. I don't know if I got any damage on my truck. It's crazy. Fill the water. I will say this, the campsite was good when I left, but we're down, we're, this is downstream from the camp. So I'm hoping it doesn't float up there. I need to move the tent ASAP, like here within the next hour once this all passes, but we're still getting lightning and stuff. So as soon as this passes, I'm probably gonna head back down there. It feels like it's 20 degrees right now. Um, a 20 degree temperature change from all this hell that's everywhere coming off this hill. This is just nuts. Never seen anything like this. I hear a car coming, but I don't see it. Pretty creepy. There he is. There's a whole line of traffic coming. Just came up on a car in a ditch. I'm gonna make sure there ain't nobody in there. That's crazy. Holy smokes. Anybody in there? You okay? Whew, there ain't no one in there, thank goodness. This is crazy. Golly. That's how bad it is right now. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, I just got home from driving through this crazy storm, severe storm in Oklahoma. And the Brandy was home. It was pretty bad here, wasn't it? Yeah. It was way worse where I was at, though. We got golf ball size like hell. Break out. So, as normal, when it floods like this much rain this quick, everything on the homestead floods. So, we're going to show you guys a little bit of it. So, we are on an incline. All the water comes down through here, flushes the pig pond out, and uh, goes to the wet weather creek. Pretty much the wet weather creek's right through the road right there. And goes all the way down through there. But all the animals are good. You all survived the hail, it looks like. I wonder where the turtle is. He's in there somewhere. Did you go get in the, in the shelter? It happened so quick, and it's still lightning and stuff out here. The, the shelter is at least dry. It's all diverting around it, so the shelter is good. But you can see over there, the horses got dry spots up there. But we got down at the bottom on the corners of the pens. It always floods right there. But don't worry, guys. They got plenty of shelters to get into. Gunner, really? He's like, he's like, let me get you muddy. I'll take you. You, you scared? I wouldn't get too close, Brandon. He's gonna get you filthy. But I just want to give you guys an update. Everything so far here on the homestead is good. We'll walk over here and show you just how bad it floods through here whenever we get this heavy rain. The hail is melted, but I did a reel on Facebook that showed yeah. actively doing it. Now it just melted. I got some footage I'll show you guys that I drove through 
Um, it was it was pretty scary, really, for a minute because I couldn't see the road. The winds picked up. I was like, man, is this tornado or what? But it got bad for about 10 minutes as I was driving. And um, I seen, I helped one lady out of the, out of the she, she almost got hit. She went up on the side of the road. That was dirt road. The road caved in on her and I drove by and I seen her. So I got and helped her and got her out. And then I drove up on another vehicle that was in the ditch that was just getting flooded. I'll show you guys some footage of that. Um, but I didn't see anyone in that vehicle. Uh, there was people everywhere on the way home. It was crazy. Dallas is loving this. Dallas, you liking this? She says yes. That lady said, I was trying to leave early to go to the kids from school. I, I was like, that. yeah, that's what my wife's doing too. Where did all this come from? I don't know. It's just, it was, so you can see it's already died down a little bit. Like Brandy said, all this, it was just flooded through here earlier. This was within the last 40 minutes. How quick it goes down and goes to the wet weather creek. I might walk down there and show you. Dallas, you liking this? So, okay so if you guys remember we used to have the chicken coop right here it always flooded now we got it up there and it's not flooding at all but look at that water just coming down the road right through here yeah right there and he escaped we'll have to deal with him later he better just leave us alone but yeah bad weather you ready to get in the house before you get struck by lightning Look at this. The wind must have been pretty strong too because it's knocked over all these feet. Yeah, it was. It was real bad where I was at. So like literally five miles from us, golf ball size hell. You got a couple here, didn't we? Yeah, there was some. But most but of them were like quarter or small. The whole road, I'll show you some footage. The whole road, everything was covered. It was nuts. I've never seen fog. There's so much heavy fog out there. I'd never seen that after a hellstorm before. That was the first time I've ever seen that. That was wild. This was over there and it blew. This hasn't melted, so but that was kind of more the size of ours. Man, we got lucky. He dodged one. The mini horses, yes, this side of the pen's flooded, but the upside's not, and they and their thing is dry. You guys always get upset about that. Right and they sit right there. There's dry spots everywhere. You better get out of here, it's starting to come again. Okay, so we got some more severe storms coming. Um, my buddy Bo from Moorhead Hopes that's coming over and we're actually going to go ahead and go pull the tent off the creek because we did not know this heavy of rain was coming today. He was actually going to camp out there tomorrow. So that's why I've been um, waiting to um, pull it up off the creek because he was going to camp there. Um, but we don't want to chance it. So we're going to go over there here in just a little bit. I'll bring my GoPro with me and I'll film that uh, taking the tent up and uh, getting it off the creek because, yeah, that will flood, especially... We get another another round of this. Hopefully it's not flooded time we get up there. Man, it's bad. Well, I got Bo from Moorhead Homestead with me, and um, we're trying to clear a path so when we get down here to the creek. Well, I don't think we got as much rain up here than they did downstream like you guys seen probably in the video already um but we don't want to chance it we want to get the tin out uh bo and his boy were going to camp they got baseball now so they can't anyway so he came up here to help me uh, get it down and we're going to move it a little bit Going to, yeah the creek's not up at all but it's that time of the year where any storm like this hits just north of here it's flooding but uh hey here's so we sit me and hope set a trap and something has pulled the sardines out and i didn't catch nothing that's awesome i've got a camera set up but it was kind of pointing high so i don't know if i caught anything on camera what if a rock got underneath that platform maybe, maybe. kept it from going down all the way nope nope <laughs> Something's just smarter Something than me. Just smarter. Yeah. So we have got an otter down here. Them otters are really long. So it could have got in there and pulled it out. But there's still some sardines in there. See how clear this water is? Coming up here, um, we got more rain downstream. It was all muddy because it's all coming out of the hills and stuff. Yeah, so that tells me. This tent may be. Yeah, this tent is right on the flood. Not the water, like, mm -hmm. It wouldn't take much. So we're going to go ahead and um, pull it down. I'm, I'm going to put all the stakes and stuff inside a, a carrier I got, but the tent itself, we're going to roll it up and take it up on top of the hill over here and just lay it out so it'll dry out. We don't want to store this thing wet, but I, eventually when it dries out, I'm going to put it up on the creek anyways. Oh, you haven't been out here since the tent, have you? No, this is 
Just seen pictures of it. Baseball man, I want to, but. Oh, that's cool. It's like a hotel room, isn't it? It is. So we get all this stuff out. Is that a light? Mm-hmm. On that jackery. That jackery's been here two weeks. All right, we're gonna start moving some of this stuff, and then uh, we'll show you guys tearing it down. Does this go back in it, or is this something special you bought? That's the pump that was came with it. Piece out of it. Hold on, hold on. It's not gonna come out yet. This pin wouldn't pop out of it. You just like that. There's no. Bunch of rainwater's in there. I have to get. I'm have to order a cap for it now. Yeah, came right down the pipe. Start on one end, or can I go ahead and start this? Yeah, end? You can start the other end. Try to save all the states. I'm gonna try to keep these from tangling up. What would be the best way? Just roll them up and individually. Goodness. Oh. What? That middle pole. Oh yeah. Man, it's not folding very Man, good. how come it ain't folding? All right, look what Bo found nesting underneath the tent. Bo, what you got? Oh, yeah, they got little babies, Bo. Oh, there is. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Of little babies. They're all, they're all sucking on the mom. I've never seen that. That's crazy. There really ain't nothing we can do because we got to move the tent before it floods. Look at that, Bo. Holy That's cow. crazy. They're like attached to her. I mean, it's kind of sad, but what do you do? Yeah. Look at them. Are they eating? I don't know. They I got to be. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Get All right. Out of here. Get out of here. Go find a new home. Oh, she dropped them. Nope, the shit went up underneath there. Look, she, she dropped, dropped one. one. Guys, is that not crazy? Those will take care of it. Wild. That's one thing I think about rodents and maybe even chewing into the tin eventually. It's crazy how they can burrow under that one. Look, water didn't even get under it. Uh -uh. All right, so they had to found just a perfect, probably right here on this low spot. Yep, came right in came right, right there right and made a little nest. I think we've seen the daddy and the mama, didn't we? Yep, daddy ran first and left the mama and kids behind. He pulled old bow. He got out of there. <laughs> I got to find safety. Uh, but honestly, if it's flooding up here, we probably just saved their life anyways. But yeah, for sure. So we're gonna get this um, loaded up on the ranger, hopefully. And uh, I'm not pulling. I'm not getting all the tent clean or all the campsite cleaned up right now. I'm just getting this big stuff, and then I'll come back down tomorrow and um, get everything else taken care of. Good job, Bo. Got all the air out. Got all the air Close out. Enough. We'll pull it one more time and just pick it up. Which way? Fold this way towards you. Yeah. Go. Let's see. Hold on. We gotta figure out how we're gonna. Here, right there. Dang, Bo, showing off with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get this back up there where we've been parking the Ranger, uh, uh, safe away from flooding, and we'll just get it laid out. I'm not gonna set up. We're just gonna lay it out so it stays dry. I've never seen him stay detached like that. Me neither. Okay, the expensive part of camp is up and going to be safe, Bo. Thank you for doing that. No problem. And, uh, yeah, this is a really good spot, but it won't be good when it's underwater. Oh. Well, you can <laughs> see how high the water gets. Yeah. So we know it's just a matter of the storm for this to flood, so it's time to move it. All right, let's get it out of here. I'm going to flip it 
over your way. Okay. That side needs to flip. This way? That corner out there. No, right here. Oh, oh there's a good there one. Get plenty of sun. Yeah. Keep the mold off of it. <laughs> Laid out so it can dry and then eventually, maybe this week if it dries up, we can put it up out there on the creek but up higher. And then you and your boy on can that come. ledge where mm -hmm. we jumped off of. Let's go look at it real quick. We'll go there and show Bo where we're gonna end up setting a camp for it. Just run over it. <laughs> Not these four seaters don't. Anything in that cave, Bo? Probably some rattlesnakes. <laughs> Not a bad view to wake up to. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then your boy can just do a cannonball right off the side here. <laughs> He's too scared. <laughs> Yeah, from all the tell, all the stuff I can see, Bo, it does not flood up here. I mean, it gets pretty high, but if it does, then we'll just have to sacrifice camp. Pretty cool view, though, isn't it? Yeah. There's the ladder they're climbing up. So, yeah, this is where we're going to set up a permanent camp for the canvas tent. I might end up getting another one, too. We'll have two of them down here. Or even build a little little cabin down here. That'd be cool, too. But we got other things to worry about right now but uh this is the spot this will be a perfect spot perfect spot like said, no risk of flooding really yep and you're still next to the creek okay well we're gonna head back to the house and um, do some stuff with the animals up there i guess it got flooded at the house too okay so i'm back at the house we got the tent laid out hopefully it'll dry over the next few days um but me and hope are gonna put out um some corn uh some sour corn that i had been fermenting for over a week now and uh, we're gonna put that behind the house because we've been getting pictures and videos of some wild hogs been coming in over the last week and i wanted to show that with you guys but um right now i'm just going to show you guys putting some more corn out we'll see if we can get them to come to this one spot and then we're going to make a trap in another video i'll put some in there huh you I'll put some in there yeah I'm smell it see what it smells like Does it smell sour yeah <laughs> uh put about half a bucket okay. why is there milk in it or it's not milk it's, um i got that so it would swell up and oh. start fermenting and get that smell. Deer aren't supposed to, aren't supposed to eat this. We'll see. You want me to do it? Just gonna get that all over you. Yeah. He needs to leave us alone. You finally figure out how to escape. <laughs> I'm gonna be clipping his wings soon, putting back in that pen. Yeah. Let me see, I'll do it. They want corn. Get back. I don't need a lot. That's probably almost that's good for you. Let's not mess with it. Okay, so you guys seen us um, last night put this corn out. Um, it's been fermenting for over a week now. We have the camera out, the hogs in. I can smell that and the chicken. The hogs didn't come back last night, um, but the, we've had a little coyote that keeps coming in like every other night on camera at least. It will, and it's been coming to this one spot. So I don't know if the chicken that we that's been up there for a little while is the odors bringing them in. Camera, the coyote is messing around over here, and the possum. So I'm not sure what ate it, but the pigs were all in here, right where Hope's standing, pretty much. It stinks, doesn't it? Let's get out of here. Yeah, they're rooting around in here. Um, so I'm gonna get. I'm have, we're gonna make another trap like we did at the uh, property creek property, and get it out here. I'm probably end up gonna buy, end up buying one of those ones that fall down because we got cell service up here i really want to just have a trap that i can monitor all the time because these pigs are coming in quite a bit i've been getting a lot of singles and doubles and then um got seven seven at least seven on at once on one of them so that's what we're doing with the fermented corn i'm actually doing that for at the creek property for that trap and um, we'll probably take it out there 
you know, put it in that trap too because we're having problems with the deer eating the corn. But from what I've been told and washed and read, the deer won't touch this corn because it's old and stinky and ferment and all that. So we'll see. So let's go check on, you guys seen earlier in the video yesterday, we had all that storm. There's been, there's a lot of damage all across Oklahoma. Uh, Brandy's, the hood of Brandy's car is all dented up. I'm sure the top's dented up. Mm -hmm. Our cousin's. Our cousin's vehicle's messed up. Tons of windows busted out. Cars total. We got some huge hail. It um, also like, looks like a tsunami came because there's stuff all the water everywhere. Oh yeah, we showed. I already showed that. Me and mom did, but yeah, it got crazy. Uh, let's go check on the on the um, pigs and gunner and them because I want to show you guys how quick the water level does go down over there. Because I know a lot of you guys have concerns that they're just standing in water for 24/7. That's just not the case. Well, that's when you know the chickens are hungry. They come running for you, so I need to feed up their feet, uh, fill up their feeder. Yeah, and three hawks are circling. And uh, I saw three you seen hawks. three of them? Three of them are circling around. Uh huh. All right, hold on, ladies, I'll fill it up. We still have some runoff going. You I don't know if you guys can see it all. Yeah, it's like a waterfall over there. It is, but it's way. Dallas is oh, Dallas, Dallas is loving it. But anyways, I want to show you guys before earlier in the video. You guys seen all this flooded from yesterday last night. How dry it is here. Half the horse pin is dry. It's just those two halves over there that all the runoff goes to. So we get a lot of comments always that you guys think they're just sitting in all the time, but they're not. So we like to show you guys. Hey, will you stop? Watch this, Dad. Watch the chicken. Whee! Hey. They've been foraging. What? But the chicken thought my toe was a strawberry. What happened? The chicken thought my toe was a strawberry, so it pecked me. It pecked your toe? Yeah. <laughs> it hurt. We gave the chicken some corn. Look at Bobby. We're going to go feed the... Or go fill up the... Thanks. The feeders. That was full yesterday. <laughs> they ate a lot yesterday. Yeah. It was raining, so they couldn't get out. Where did you check the eggs? Yeah, you got 20. Oh, I think you got 22, so I counted. Yeah. There was like eight in there. Was it really? Yeah. Hi, chicken. Oh, that's Rocco. It's Rocco still. Rocco's staying to himself. Yeah. Oh, man, this water got full of there. Oh. That's all right. It's all their oysters. Yeah. Oyster shells. They're oysters? Oh, Oyster shells. Oh, I almost got them. Come here. Can you can't hold this real quick. I'm going to get a chicken. Hold on. I want to see you catch Rocco. No. <laughs> you don't want to catch Rocco? I'll catch this one. Look. I think that's the same one you caught earlier. Should it I is. <laughs> That's funny. We they're free ranging fools, oh. but there's not a lot of bugs right now. Bugs are just starting to merge here in Oklahoma. Back yeah. to that rain. I bet there's a lot of worms around here. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Catch you on next one. Thanks for watching.